Today, my friends, this is episode 29 of the fourth season here of the Minecraft World Tour. Together with Doc, and I'm riding a minecart. And today, we will learn a valuable lesson or two. Um, first one will be, for the first time, it might be useful to you if you're lagging while you're playing Minecraft. For that reason, I'm not playing with Optifine today, because I deliberately want to have lag. Now, you might think... Okay, now Doc completely lost it. <laughs> he went crazy. He wants to have lag. That's, that makes sense. Well, it makes sense. So, I tell you a little story and that is uh, what I really like about in the Minecraft community. Uh, because, yeah, like, I don't know. Staying in touch with the community and working with the community always is um, a, a lot of fun to me. It's kind of, I don't know. It's been part of me since the beginning. I try to keep it up as, as good as I can, for example, with the Realms project. But the best part is, for example, I was uh, sitting in the um, Zipcrowd team speak, chilling a bit, talking a bit with Pommes, and then um, got a message from Enemy's friend. And he said, hey, Doc, do you have a sec? I want to talk to you. And I was like, all right. Jumped uh, over to him in his channel, and he told me about something. And I thought it was fixed. I heard about it um, like a year ago or so. Um, and it is, yeah, pretty much, well, uh, if you put it poetically, you would say, the one farm to rule them all. Uh, or you could just say a machine that can pretty much duplicate anything in the game, um, if what is stackable. And even, uh, you can even make it so you can dupe stuff that is not stackable. So, a uh, big disclaimer, right after this uh, episode, um, I will definitely talk to Dinnerbone and notify him of this bug. Um, it is in the game for a long time since Minecraft 1.5 pretty much up to 1.8.7 and it's pretty much yeah I'll show you there's a nice demonstration video um, as well um, enemy's friend pointed that out to me um, by Il Mango and yeah I was uh, thinking I need to test that here in the world tour and yeah let's see if it works and we can go over there um, so I have a little setup here. It's right next to the perimeter build and let's use this little Trap chest here and right towards it. This is my test setup I didn't want to make it too big, but I've been playing around with it for a few hours and I got good results out of it For example, I've been using it to get hoppers and stuff um, Yeah, that's really really a crazy thing that that is still in the game and it's potentially game breaking especially for servers because the more lag you have um, the worse it is or the better it works you could say and well it's pretty much yeah on a server uh, it's even more efficient normally because the server suffers from lag so let's look at these comparators and pretty much every comparator that is not blinking at the moment has already duped some stuff and we've been creating lag by going back and forth back there and loading and unloading this area so this is right at the edge of the render distance let's you know if we go forward here a little bit can see the perimeter edge there slowly but surely coming in and yeah I'm as far enough in away so this thing gets barely unloaded and, and loaded again I have some lights there to create some indication when I know okay cloning has happened so uh, yeah we have two hoppers facing into each other and the system that is attached to it is just for overflow to automatically draw out items and here we go we clone the sponge block of iron and on this side three diamonds brilliant and there's more stuff stuck in the system uh, I told you wherever the comparator is permanently lit we have duplicated items so we have one additional hopper here can take that out and here oh we already have two additional diamonds so since I cleared the machine um, since we started recording the episodes maybe three minutes on top of the intro so we're at about five minutes now, the machine was running, and this is a small setup. Okay, let's check over here. Oh yeah, these two. It means, oh yeah, we cloned iron blocks here. Can take out even one more. Yep, and on this side, what did we clone here? Sponge. Brilliant, two more sponge. So yeah, we're making profit here. 
diamonds, everything, and it's just an example load of items I used. So now you're kind of interested how does this thing work? Well, there is a bug with hoppers under, um, you know, if your system is under load or if, it's a, if a server is under stress, you can definitely uh, duplicate items when they are sent back and forth. And yeah, as pointed out by Il Mango in his explanation video, and I will of course also link that. So um, make sure to check that out. He shows it in a bigger scale as well and does more testing and so on. Um, yeah. Um, while having stress on your system, that can happen. And yeah, I wanted to test it here in a normal survival world. And with a small, it's small scale what I did here. You could even crank it up and increase your output. But yeah. This is a machine that uh, should be patched because it's definitely dangerous for servers. But yeah, you know the world tour. We want to try out stuff like that. And it's definitely fun to do oh, over here. Oh yeah, we got one additional hopper. That's good stuff. Want to see it blinking. So we can test it again now. So we cleared out the machine. Oh, there's three more diamonds <laughs> coming out of it while we were here. Um, lag is good enough. Um, the recording helps. <laughs> so recording helps as well. So lag is good. By the way, look up, look, uh, look around down here. We have another guardian temple. I think you know, but that also helps, you know. The guardians there tracking the um, squid, trying to shoot him. Good thing. So how do you set up a machine like uh, that? You have to make sure to have two hoppers facing into each other with um, 22 of the items you want to duplicate. You can see it here, we got 22 hoppers, 22 um, witter skulls. I've been running the machine for a while, so <laughs> it's really cool. Um, 22 hoppers here again, you know, I've been using different items. Everything that is sta stackable, 22 hoppers, 22 emerald blocks, sponge, and so on. And yeah, then you have these, um, the item cycling. And if you want to automate it a bit, you pretty much do the same thing like when you have an item filter, you know. Just take a comparator, put the, pull the redstone down, take a repeater, redstone, and the yeah, hoppers will be locked until a certain threshold is passed, and then items will be pulled out. Um, it can be the case, you know, if there's more than 22 items in here, the, uh, the system will trigger and pull the item out, but also here on the other side, items are duplicated. So I've been doing some apps experiments. I um, was thinking, okay, like if you put 22... Um, or 21 here, 21 here, and then one additional that it cycles. And uh, let's see what the output is. And it seems if there's one single item traveling... What? <laughs> we got struck by the Guardian. If there's, if there's one single item traveling, the duplication uh, seems to happen more often. That's what I've been contacting with my tests, so hopefully that can help as well with the bug fixing. Because, yeah, I really think it should be fixed. All right. So while we were chilling here, even more items. Oh man, it even works while we are sitting right here. I suppose it's because of the light updates that caused a lot of lag and the uh, recording. Because we know, let's let's double check. It's 22, 22, 22, 22. Not that something is missing somewhere, you know. 22, 22, yeah, 22. 22. All right. Let's keep on checking here. So you can increase the effect, as I said, by going back and forth. Okay, right now we have nothing. So this is pretty much the farm to rule them all. Now imagine if you put more hoppers in there, you can have all kinds of items and duplicate them like crazy. Especially for servers, obviously, that would be a problemo, a big problemo. And it's cool. So the idea was pretty much enemies, friends said, hey, Dog, you get more exposure than us. We're talking about this bug for quite a while. Nobody's really listening. So do something about it, and then um, it will get fixed. Good plan, and I'm really happy about that. You know, that it just came up and said, hey, look at that. That's pretty fascinating. And that is something, you know, that really helped me. Last episode, we talked about a bit about the Minecraft uh, depression or not want to play Minecraft. And now I was really totally the whole day focusing on that, doing experiments, finding out perfect distance and whatnot, and trying out different configurations. Also, for example, have an item frames there and see if that would help. And it definitely would if you go, uh, I think it's about 32 blocks when the item frames get rendered in and out. Or maybe you could add entities, you know, to add some stress to your system. 
everything that helps to create lag. What would also help is, for example, you dig out a huge uh, cave below you. Let's say, I don't know, 32 by 32 and then go down all the way to bedrock. And then you have a one wide hole on top with a piston on a clock that opens and closes it and causes um, massive light updates. Light updates are always a frame rate killer or lag, a cause of lag. So yeah, alright. So let's go back and forth here for a little bit. Say we go back and see if it already worked again. That would be quite uh, surprising because then um, it's almost working better than I even expected. I mean, I've been doing some tests and I was surprised, but I never had a consistent run with a consistent setup. Pretty much every time I went back, I tried out something else. And on the right side, we can already see uh, one light is not flashing that uh, indicates that already something got duplicated again. So, hmm. That's quite quite crazy. It's in the game for such a long time. Ah, here we got an additional hopper as well. Here an emerald block. <laughs> that is so cool. Kind of fascinating. Although it's yeah, it really should get fixed. Alright, here nothing duplicated. Uh or maybe yeah, a hopper duplicated, but it was pulled out because it duplicated on that one side. Okay, and over here two. Two are lit up. Oh yeah, another emerald block. And an additional hopper. Wow! <laughs> this is pretty cool. I wonder if we crank it up and make it bigger a bit, a bit how much we could pull out. Or if we, you know, I have a pretty good whoops, computer, so um, it's pretty hard to create lag. Oh, by the way, I'm still running the 780 because the 980 graphics card I was getting sent had uh, some trouble with the VRAM. Never had that, but I think the graphics card was faulty or maybe it was damaged during the deli um, delivery you know 980 ti didn't work properly talk to nvidia they're gonna send me a new one and um, i'm really sorry about it um, it rarely happens i never had that with nvidia so yeah i i just say bad luck and now i have a big ventilator and um, blowing into my computer to keep the old card cooled because yeah um, i'm playing on here to see People asked why not playing Minecraft on the dock block. The problem is there's still this issue with OpenGL that Minecraft randomly crashes uh, on higher versions of the GeForce driver. So on my old rig I have the lower version, but on the newer rig I play The Witcher, I play GTA and run newer versions, so I can't play Minecraft on there. So uh, fix the driver. <laughs> okay, we're chilling here. Maybe while we were chilling, something duplicated. It's a good place to have if you have squids around that cause more lag. No, everything is flashing. But yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. That's, that's the one farm to rule them all. <laughs> okay guys, obviously you can also clone items that are non-stackable. And I got a cow here by now because that guardian down there keeps sapping me and gives me mining fatigue. And uh, it's, uh, it became really annoying. I started this recording three times and he kept sapping me. Then I decided, all right, all right, all right, you got this. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a cow. So here we go. Two hoppers facing into each other. And let's knock that out again. And then uh, we shall set it up. Let's say we use our stone blocks again. One, two, three, four, five, six, towards the middle. And then we need our comparator on top here. And it's construction below. <laughs> Betsy, my lifesaver. Whoever came up with that cow name Betsy? Why are cows often called Betsy? Okay, let's do this. One, uh, two, three, four, five. Okay. And um, yeah, then we need to go down and yeah, do the same thing pretty much. Okay, um, give me that, drink a bucket of milk, <laughs> I want to keep the guy, I want to bring him back into the nether perimeter, alright, so you go down one, now we need to go back, um, let's go like this, and one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, that'll do the trick. So we put a repeater here, we put a repeater there, we put a bit of redstone here, and then we need to put a torch up in front. 
some blocks. Okay, up to here. So now torch. Bang. You know, same <laughs> same setup uh, pretty much. And obviously you have to do that two sides. So we have one side now and now we build up the same thing to the other side. Let me quickly do that um, off camera and then I'll be back. All right. So on this side, I'm going to toss in my shovel. I made another one over there. So all cool. And on this side, um, we have my eggs. So far, while I was here, let's see, there was more duped. Up here. Yep. Hopper. Oh, dang. <laughs> Tossed it back in. All right. With the skull. One we can take out. All right. Oh, over here. Nice. One sponge. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So let's see if it works with that uh, as well. That's an interesting test. Hopefully, everything should be flushed out. I have it all connected. Everything is hooked up correctly. We have the repeaters. Redstone on the corners here. Let's double check here too. There, okay. Repeater facing the right way. Torch, torch, repeater, repeater. Redstone, cool. Okay. Should be good. Alrighty, I've been riding around in the minecart um, for five minutes and one season of the uh, in the abyss by Slayer um, live on YouTube. <laughs> okay, let's go. So about a good ten minutes. Let's see what happened. Let's see if we got a duplication of uh, one of our tools. Uh, I'm 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 not sure if it how it would uh, duplicate it. Oh yeah, there goes the alarm. So yeah, now it's officially ten minutes. All right. Let's go. Such a great riff. <laughs> All right. We definitely have duplicated something, but I don't know if we duplicated. Yeah. <laughs> In ten minutes, okay. We got two of the diamond axes duplicated. Wow, that's really OP. Okay. Wow. One, two, three. Four shovels. I swear to God, no, no hexing, no cheating, no nothing involved. That is just what this machine does. If you go back and forth and create some lag for it, wow, that's that's really powerful. Uh, I have to say, wow, it's quite surprising. So I definitely don't recommend using this um, on a server. Um, I suppose you know after uh, Dinnerbone gets informed now, this will be fixed rather quickly for your single player worlds of course you can use it and um, would be so interesting how what you can get out of a machine if you optimize it a bit you know if you maybe use the idea I had of using a big hole below to create uh, additional lag from that and uh, let me see oh, yeah those are also loaded so there's already hoppers there's skulls another hopper last one blinking oh god we got struck again and here we got all blinking okay man yeah but this small setup here works surprisingly well already and uh, definitely an interesting principle to experiment around with i'm enjoying that of course people can uh, it's cheating cloning stuff it doesn't matter man we do so much farms and stuff in our world anyways as long as it is um, as it is achieved with game mechanics i'm cool with it by now you know i played the game for a long time and was a bit more ooh, Let's get out of here. I was a bit more hardcore about that when I started the game. Um, then the iron farms came in. It was also very controversial, if you remember back then. People discussed a lot about how, how badly or well it impacts the game or whatnot until it finally settled and everybody said, well, let people play how, however they want, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, uh, interesting, uh, interesting principle here. As mentioned, don't do it on the server. This is clearly cheating um, in most book. In most books, I would say, you and uh, you could risk uh, getting banned from your server if people catch you doing that. So I wouldn't recommend that. Or if you're a hardcore server, you might uh, want to implement that to get, uh, I don't know, crazy amounts of beacons if you want to light up all your server with beacons instead of torches. So guys, 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out the video by Il Mango and I want to say thanks again to Enemies Friend 23 is not so active on YouTube but he's really active in the technical Minecraft community for pointing this thing out to me. I had a lot of fun experimenting with it and I hope you guys yeah enjoy experimenting with a setup like that too. As I, again, don't blame me later on. Don't use it on the server if you get banned for it. But yeah, see you next time. I'm out. Bye guys.